Hello friends, in this video we'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 10th graders, year 2022, problem number 4. Uh, we wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself, satisfying the following functional equation. f of f of y minus x minus x f of y plus f of x equals y minus y f of x for all real numbers x and y. Here are my hints for this functional equation. First, show that uh, our function cannot be constantly 1. So f of x0 is not equal to 1 for some real number x0. And show that this means that our function f must be surjective. It must be surjective. Then, set x to be equal 0 and justify that our function must be injective. And also, note that f of f of minus 1 equals minus 1. And finally, set y to be minus 1 and use injectivity to show that our function must be linear. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so let's start. Notice, maybe let's start with note. Note that function which is constantly 1 does not satisfy our equation. It does not. Why is that, you may ask? Because on the left-hand side, here we have 1, here we have 1, and here we have 1 minus y, which is 0. 1 plus 1 is not equal 0. So, and also, you know what, let's mark this equation asterisk. This means, this means that our function f of x 0 is not equal 1 for some x 0, for some real number x 0. And now let's set, let's set x to be equal x 0 in our equation asterisk. Then, then we have the following. We can write it in the following way f of f of y minus x 0 minus x 0 f of y equals uh, and let's write it in the following way i will take 1 minus f of x 0 y minus f of x 0. let's look at the right hand side this function treated as a function of y is uh, linear is sorry it's affine and not non-constant because this slope is not zero so this function of y is affine and not constant hence it is surjective It is surjective. So, the function which stands on the left-hand side must also be surjective. And in particular, this very outer function, which is f, must be surjective. Our function f must be surjective. Very well, we'll use it. Now, Let's take a look once again at our equation. And now I will set, I will set, uh, what exactly? I will set x to be 0. Set x to be equal 0 in our condition asterisk. Then we have the following. On the left hand side we have f of f of y just f of f of y, and on the right hand side we will have 1 minus f of 0 times y minus f of 0, I believe, if I am not mistaken. I am not. Now, note the following. f of 0 cannot be 1. 
Because, why is that? Well, because here we have a composition of two surjective functions. So this function on the left hand side, since f is surjective, it is surjective as well. So it is surjective. In particular, this cannot be zero. This, sorry, sorry. This is surjective. In particular, this part right here cannot be zero. Because, well, if it were to be zero, then the right hand side would not be surjective. But now on the right hand side we have what? Once again, n affine function. An affine non-constant function. Hence, it is injective. Hence, it is injective. All right, but now, since this is injective, the inner function must be injective as well. So f must be injective. So our function f must be injective. All right. Very well. Now, the final substitution, I believe, or maybe not, we shall see. Set now let's set x to be minus 1, if I am not mistaken. Let me go back to verify. Let's take this equation. Uh, no, uh, y to be minus 1, sorry. 1, y equals minus 1. In our condition asterisk once again. Then we'll have the following. Our equation, let's, uh, we have not x0, but just x. And instead of y, we have minus 1. So minus 1 minus x, f of minus 1. Here we have minus 1 as well. Now, why minus 1, you may ask? Because, let's take a look. Mm, f of... f of f of minus x minus 1 minus x of f of minus 1 equals what happens on the right hand side well we are just left with minus 1 plus minus 1 all right but maybe maybe let's also know know one thing from this equation which i will mark triangle it has a particular consequence, namely, namely, if I set in y to be minus 1, I have f of f of minus 1 equals minus 1. So maybe, you know what, let's put it before this part. So setting, setting uh, y to be minus 1 in our condition triangle, and we have f of f of minus 1 equals minus 1. And now we will use it, because this minus 1 right here can be replaced by f of f of minus 1. And now it is time to use the fact that our function is surjective, so we can actually cancel this occurrence of f. So since f is injective, We have f of minus x minus 1 minus x f of minus 1 equals f of minus 1, which we can write it in the following way. f of minus x minus 1 equals minus minus x minus 1 f of minus 1, after putting everything on the right-hand side. But also notice that x is arbitrary, so we can replace x by any other variable and we get that for any, let's say z, for any real number z, f of z equals minus z f of minus 1. 
so our function is linear for sure. And now we can take it and plug it in, but uh, maybe I will, I will do more. I will derive some more information about our function. Let's call this uh, condition square. Let's call this square. And now let's go back to our condition which I marked triangle. Because now we know that for sure f of 0 is 0. So in particular from this we see that f of 0 is 0. So our condition triangle becomes becomes what? Becomes f of f of y equals y equals y. Very well, but this means, of course, i.e. Uh, f of minus 1 equals plus or minus 1. Plus or minus 1 is the only possibility. It cannot be anything else because of this formula. Alright. So we have only two candidates, which means that for every real number z, f of z equals minus z, or for every real number z, f of z equals z. So we have only two functions to verify, and we have to do verification. Let's do verification. Let's start with f of, f of z equals minus z. If f of z equals minus z for all real number z. What then? Let's compare the left hand side with the right hand side. On the left hand side, we have f of f of y minus x plus plus what? Mm. Let's go back because I don't remember. Minus x f of y plus f of x. Minus x f of y. Minus x times f of y. Plus f of x. And let's see what is it. It's minus minus y minus x. Minus x minus y. Plus minus x. Which is what? Let's see. It's y minus x uh, minus xy minus x. So it is uh, minus 2x minus xy plus y. And what happens on the right hand side? Well, on the right hand side, we have, I don't remember once again, y minus y f of x. y minus y f of x. So it is y minus y times minus x. So it's y plus xy. All right, and we see that it is not the same. So this function does not. So left hand side is not equal to the right hand side in general. In general. And let's see if the second function satisfies. If f of z equals z for all real number z what then then on the left hand side we have f of f of y minus x minus x f of y plus f of x what is it well it's just y minus x minus x y plus x y minus x y it is and on the right hand side, we have y minus f, y f of x. So it is y minus x, y. Exactly the same. So in this case, the left hand side equals the right hand side. So we have exactly one solution. The only solution. The only solution is the identity of the set of real numbers.
and that closes our problem. Our functional equation has just one solution. So yes, very nice problem. If you if you have noticed it, first we have established surjectivity, which allowed us to establish injectivity, which allowed us to establish that our function is linear, step by step. Very nice problem. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.